NCAF is uh, the National Kidney Foundation of Malaysia. We are basically uh, a national body. Uh, anything concerning uh, kidney related matters, we will ch champion for it for the whole Malaysia. Yeah. We are a national body. We are a non profit making organization. Uh, we get our funding from the general public, right? Uh, we 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 actually uh, champion for you know uh, anything relating to the kidney disease. Uh. It can be how to prevent it, or when you're already down with kidney problem, you know we also provide. Uh, dialysis treatment to kidney patients and uh, we also provide a, what they call it, a health talk to them right and also uh, provide any information that the Malaysian pub public wants to know about kidney it can be things like uh, kidney matters uh, kidney information in other part of the world you know, let's say a kidney patient want to go overseas and they wanted to know where to do their dialysis, yeah. that will come and ask us. We will be able to find them a place overseas. To that extent, right? that's what I meant by it. Yeah, not only just helping Malaysian, we also can provide information about the rest of the world because we are a member of the International Federation of Kidney Foundation. We started off in 1969. Right up to today is how many years already? Forty three years now. Yeah. About forty three years. Uh, in the initial uh, twenty years, uh, the foundation was uh, more like uh, not very active. Not not active in the sense that you know, uh, not physically active. What I mean is that you know, we got our own building things like that. Is last time, it's more on uh, promoting to Malaysians about the danger of kidney disease. Then it's only after the after the first 20 years, we started off our first dialysis center in Kuala Lumpur, right? Then as time goes by, you know, we expanded and now we've got 28 dialysis center. Any patient that want to come into our dialysis center, they have to go through our welfare department. Our welfare department will do the assessment whether the patient is really poor or not, right? If they are not poor, we won't accept them. If they are poor, we we will bring them in, right? You know, they only need to pay a certain sum of money, right? And if they can't really pay, we will subsidize maybe partially. But for those really hardcore poor, those real those are really really poor one, will fully subsidize their 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 treatment. Yeah. So in that sense, no, uh, NKF is a we we we. We, we are not in existence uh, to make money. We are here as a non-profit making organization. We don't make money out of it. Yeah. So we like to treat as many as possible, but of course the deserving. We also provide health screening. Right? Health screening means you know, uh, we actually help the public uh, to screen them to find out whether they got any sign of kidney diseases. Or not. Right? Their urine tests, their blood tests, you know, their sugar level. The whole, the, the, I think they are all together about uh, seven to eight tests no, to find out whether the person got any sign of kidney problem. If they got sign of kidney problem, then we encourage them to come forward. We will counsel, counsel them, tell them to go for further check. You know, right? Because you see, no, kidney problem, kidney failure is a silent killer. Right? You might not know until it's too late already. Then it's, then it's already, you already reach a very advanced stage. No? Just like can cancer, things like that. You see, no? If you do not know, know about it, right? Then one day you find out, wow, some part of your body is so pain, uh, painful, you know, things like that. You know, it's really too, uh, too uh, late. You really reach that advanced stage. You see. Mm -hmm. The people that go for dialysis are the end stage kidney failure. These are the people, uh, their kidneys uh, is only about 5 to 10 percent working. 90, about 90% about will really fail. Right? Once the kidney fails, uh, there is no more cure. You cannot, you cannot repair it anymore. Right. We just have to go for the dialysis. Dialysis is actually a life sustaining uh, treatment to keep you alive. You know? And if you don't go for dialysis after a while, you also die. You know? The kidney patient goes for dialysis huh? three times a week, each time in four hours, every other, every other day for the rest of their life. Unless, if they're lucky enough to go and find a donor that give a 
liver kidney that is compatible to him or to her, then you know, we can go for trans transplantation. Yes, it's, it's getting uh, more and more patients, uh, people in Malaysia getting kidney failure. And because our uh, people suffering from uh, diabetes, they're very high. Uh, so the, the main cause of kidney failure is diabetes, number one. Say about, say about, uh, about 58% of the patients uh, or 58 percent the uh, kidney failure is because of diabetes and diabetes is number one in Malaysia among the Malaysians in the world because of uh, kidney, uh, uh, diabetes obesity obesity will lead to diabetes and diabetes will lead to kidney failure the main cause of diabetes is the main cause number two cause is uh, hypertension blood pressure about 30 percent of the patients uh, of the uh, hypertensive end up as a complication of diabetes uh, and blood pressure of the kidney failure. Yeah. First, I cannot eat. So, always want to warm me. Huh? Oh, warm me, then I something but much more than you cannot touch. So, I'm uh, my leg uh, and face uh, So, it's only when you, when you, when you when you see people down with this kind of illness, right, you know, then you really appreciate you know, how much they have to suffer. Right, you know. As I said earlier, when people are down with uh, end-stage kidney failure, their problem is so traumatic. Not, not only that, they have to suffer for the rest of their life. Every other day, they go for that dialysis. Right, you know. It's so traumatic in a sense that you know, not only... Uh, what call it? I had to go through that, 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 uh, that, uh, uh, what call it, that, that suffering, uh, you know, to, to, to sustain life. Once you're down with kidney problem, it's so difficult to get a job because your productivity will be so low. Every day you go for four hours. Four hours is on the chair next to the machine doing dialysis, right now. Then you have to travel from your house to the dialysis center, right, you know. Maybe that will take you another hour. Then after dialysis, you might rest for half an hour before you go home. Then by the time you get home, it's another one hour. All together easily, you know. Six, seven hours a day. But most of us also works. If you are working, it's only eight hours, seven hours, right? You know, unless you do overtime, you see. You know? And this thing you have to do every other day. And each time it's four hours, you see. That one can affect your 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 ability to work, right? And not many people will want to employ you. Dialysis treatment. Okay. Dialysis treatment is basically to replace the function of the kidney, uh, our kidney function. So the kidney is not functioning. So the uh, dialysis is just by uh, sending, taking your blood from the body. And passing through the tubes, passing to the filter, a filter will uh, clean the blood. It take out all the impurities or the poisons of the inside the uh, blood, urea, creatinine, and all the uh, uh, excessive uh, water, mineral salts that is not unwanted, unwanted mineral salts are so removed from the uh, blood through the filters. I mean, they call it dialyzer. And after that, the blood will go back to the body. So it's just a cycle. We do about four hours per treatment. Every treatment lasts for four hours, minimum four hours. So by this, after four hours, most of the impurities from the blood is removed by this uh, process of hemodialysis. Uh, so the patient has to do uh, every week three times. Each, each uh, session lasts four hours. So the, for the rest of the life, he has to do this uh, treatment. Uh, there's no cure for it, unless the patient gets a transplant. So either do a trans transplant or dialysis. There's no other option. If he doesn't do dialysis, that patient will die. So it's very uh, serious uh, problem. It's also dialysis also removes uh, water because the kidney is unable to pass urine anymore. Once they get a kidney failure, you cannot pass urine anymore.
the urine production stop. So whatever water you drink uh, is normal consumption every day. So the water will stay in the body and the body is built up. So it will cause other problems. You could end up in the lungs, they cannot breathe. So your patient will die after that because of too much water in the body. So this dialysis treatment removes the water. Lifestyle, lifestyle modification like some obesity. You can prevent obesity, then you don't get diabetes. You get that, don't get diabetes, you won't get kidney failure. So it's, it's also related. So the, the obesity and the lifestyle, the lifestyle, active lifestyle, and then uh, uh, the food intake, fast food, all that. Uh, you avoid all this fast food, salty food. So all this will lead to uh, either diabetes or blood pressure. We can this prevent these two things, the most important disease are diabetes and uh, hypertension, then uh, you can uh, prevent kidney failure. The last word to the public is that, uh, or even to, to you guys, right, right, to young people, please take care of your health, right, eat healthily, right, don't consume too much of sugar, salt, you know, because these are the things that is not good for your health. The number one cause causes of uh, dialysis uh, of uh, of kidney failure is diabetes. Yeah, too much sugar can lead to kidney failure. Yeah, so lead a healthy lifestyle, exercise regularly. You know, like that. Okay, active lifestyle, uh, maintain your uh, normal body weight, BMI. Huh? You can maintain body weight uh, in relation to your height. Huh? Height. Huh? You can get a BMI good, but BMI. Uh, Maintain a healthy lifestyle, not to get diabetes, blood pressure, uh, hypertension, then you'll be okay. Then be healthy as a normal. I think it's uh, important. Yeah, say, eat like, don't worry so much. It got kidney failure, got to come and dialysis. Come and dialysis, and you don't keep, don't want to dialysis. You don't do dialysis, you cannot spend long time. So uh, we help people uh, is like God already got to come to the see, see where your house nearby where like NKA for a lot of but branch uh. So other places also other things also like being uh, the kingdom also got free. Uh, so everywhere got my uh, Malaysia also got a lot a lot of dialysis. Uh. So without us uh, only the machine without us uh. Uh, what to do? Cannot do anything. Yeah. If one day we happy enough already, so cannot do anything. So you can't. You get like some of my friends, uh, 16 years, 18 years, or 60 years. Uh, someone of the uh, Asunta friend, 28 years old, uh, she got diagnosis. Now uh, she is uh, pension already, going to 60 already. She was so cute. Yeah, normally I love them to drink more water. Last time I never do that. <laughs>